Hey guys, this is my second uh, Hobby Link Japan sponsored scale model addict review build. And for this build, I'm going to be doing the Bronco Hummer Armored Car Mark IV. Uh, this is a really sharp little kit. Bronco makes an awesome model. I built a few and I've already peeked in the box, and really, this one is no different. Uh, it's a small armored car fairly little thing but the parts count on this thing is huge so let's open up the box and give you an idea of uh, what's inside uh, this is a really neat little armored car lots of sharp angles and panel lines with some cool paint effects let's open up the box now I already took all the sprues out of the bags prior to filming this but the first thing we're going to check out is the instructions uh, this isn't an instruction sheet. This is really a magazine with no less than 40 pages. Um, it is huge. And there is a lot to it. But inside it we find this cool little shout out to the guys who helped research uh, the vehicle for this model. So that's pretty cool. But just a quick look. I mean the typical, here's your sprues, your colors, photo edge decals, clear sprue. And then you're right into the typical exploded view uh, drawings. As you can see, this engine is just loaded with detail, as is every assembly found in this model kit. Full interior. Many, many multi part assemblies and sub assemblies. That, you know, in older kits, this would just be a box with drawer face on it. Now it's no less than six pieces. Really nice uh, tread pattern. I like that a lot. You know, and I'm only on page 20, and this goes to page 38. So I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Got some cool color plates at the end for your markings. The decal sheet, all the different vehicles. We got a photo etch sheet in the back, some looks like some rubberish ammo and an extra little decal sheet with some invasion stars. Uh, photo etch looks like it's the typical stuff, so the little lines for where your folds are. Uh, sprues, and there are tons of them. This is obviously the turret. This must have been attached here. This is sprue F. I don't really see any major deficiencies in here. Um, no giant pin marks, no sink marks that I can see. Um, this is the clear sprue H. It's got the headlights and the periscopes for the hatches. We come to sprue A. Differentials, the engine block, some of the frames, spare tire. Lots of small, small, delicate detail parts. This piece is going to be pretty tricky to get off the sprue in one piece. Um, sprue E. Just, it's more detail parts, tons of parts. And they're pretty clean. There's a little bit of flash here and there, but I mean, pieces this size, you know, I've, I've got to come to expect, we've got to give them a little leeway so there's a little bit of flash a little bit of scene cleanup you can see some flash there and there but this is an incredible model so far sprue D looks like your fenders your floor pan maybe some fuel tanks but uh, everything is clean and sharp this is cast this is detailed only on the one side I'm not sure if this is exposed or not This is uh, two sprues, B, identical sprues of the tire, the rims, lots of ammunition, more ammunition, leaf springs, headlights, lots of little things. Sprue C, 
It's more of the same. Lots of tiny little detail parts. No major flash. I don't think you see anything short shot. I mean, these, these little handles and stuff are just tiny. And they, they're pretty clean. You know? This is Sprue G, and upper hull, the sides, the hood, or bonnet. This is detailed inside and outside. Because this kit obviously has a full interior. Looks like a box came loose. <coughs> Here's the tires. Really neat, really deep and sharp tread pattern. And a weapon sprue, F. Weapons and packs, helmets. It's good stuff. So yeah, this is an immense kit for such a small vehicle. This is definitely not a weekend build. This is a very long build of many tiny parts. So this is going to take me a while, but I will do it on the forum. And I want to thank Hobby Link Japan for this awesome kit and the chance to review it. I want to thank Bronco for making this kit because before now, you weren't going to get a kit this good in styrene. At least it, that was the thought that you never would. But thanks to Bronco, we have them. It's a really neat little kit, so hope you enjoyed it. Get yourself one. Go to Hobby Link Japan. Tell them Scale Model Addict sent you.